have got a massive box here. So you never have too many candles in your house. Jan, I thought I would pick the camera back up and start vlogging this week because we are actually in another national lockdown here in the UK. I think this is the third. So this is going to be another kind of lockdown vlog. You can see what I'm getting up to, obviously mainly at home. As you saw, I was just doing my makeup before, but I swear every time I go to do my makeup on this vlog, I literally all the time when I was doing it before as well, it always cuts out, my battery does. So obviously you didn't see the final bit, but I've just gone for like an everyday kind of makeup look you guys know I love Charlotte Tilbury so if you didn't see the last vlog back in December I did do kind of like a full breakdown of it but I've done my hair a little bit different today as well I've got these little front bits and I've done this cute little plait at the back because my hair is really short so it's only like a little mini plait but I thought it looked quite cute and then I've just put the hair around it here and done it in like a high pony so I am trying to like most days put makeup on, put like clothes on and make myself feel a little better because obviously I am still working at home and having to shoot and do content and stuff. So I thought I'd just kind of take you along on this week and I've had a massive order come from H&M Home which I'm so excited to share with you guys because I did go a little bit crazy. I feel like every time we go into lockdown I'm like right get home stuff. So I'm going to be sharing that with you on this vlog as well which is exciting so you can see all the new sort of home bits that I've got and some updates around the house as well. Okay so I thought I would show you you what I got from H&M Home. Now I have got a massive box here. It's quite heavy to lift up. I'm just trying to sit next to the window so you can see properly because the light seems to go quite early now. I feel like it's literally like one o'clock and the light is going out of this room already. So as you can see I have already unboxed a lot and I have put some other pieces up in the house because as soon as this parcel come, I was just too excited. So I'll start with the pieces that I've already unpackaged because I just got too excited. And this one I've literally been using all weekend as a little snack bowl. Now I do have the matching plate and the bowl. They're called the stoneware 
sort of range on the website and they sell out so fast. They've got a massive sort of sharing plate and a sharing bowl that I want to get my hands on. So I've put the notification on that I'll hopefully get them. But how cute is this little kind of, well, I'm going to use it as like a little snack bowl. I think it's really good if you've got people over, you can put like nuts, carrots and stuff, like little kind of dips and stuff in this. So that matches our plates, which is great. And then also to match that, I got four of these, two I've already used for my coffee this morning, which is the matching mugs. And again, this is the stoneware range and it just looks really kind of like distorted, like restoration, hardware kind of vibes, which I absolutely love. So it's got this little brown rim here on the edge and the size of this coffee mug fits perfectly into my coffee machine, which I love. So I did get four of these. I think they're like $4.99 each. They're so affordable, so good. Honestly, H&M Home really nail it with their prices. And on the subject of prices, I actually picked up two pieces from the sale as well, which I've just got here on the TV cabinet, and it's these picture frames. So it's really simple, just a gold sort of outline shape to them. And I'm pretty sure it opens up like with a little door, but these are actually bigger than an A4 photo. So I'm gonna think put the photo of me and my family in here, and then on the other side, I've got another frame. I've got two of them. They were only like six or seven pound, and make them a little bit larger and put it in black and white, I think. But these are just so simple, so minimal, but I love them. And we needed some picture frames in the house. So managed to get that from a sale. And if you guys know me, you know I am obsessed. Like, my obsession with candles is a little bit gone out of hand. So Chris actually got me the big Jo Malone candle one for Christmas this was my Christmas present this is the peony and blush and this is the big whopper size because I have been going on about this candle for so long the poor boy is probably sick of hearing me go on about it so he kind of got me that for Christmas and it just smells out the room it's amazing so I've got this big candle on here I also have these little candle altars here on the coffee table so I got a pack of the taper candles as you can see I've already used a few of them but the reason I love these H&M ones is because they have, if you can see here, this like ribbed edge, which means they can basically push into any kind of candle holder. So they fix. I always find with these candles, you can never get the right one to fit your candle holder. So you literally just push it in and it basically the wax will go to each holder. And then I also have these ones. I got these gold candle holders for actually from Amazon. They did have them on H&M Home, but they sold out. So if they are still in stock, I'll link it down below. And then again, look, oh, some of the wax has come off. I've just put the candles in there. So they literally fit all the different ones. So I got a pack of 10 of them. Then I also got the pillar candles. I got literally, I think like six or eight of these. I really stocked up because I use these everywhere. They're just so good to have in the house. And then they also had them in like a beigey colour, which is this one. But as you can see, I've already been burning it. I've got it in this little glass cylinder. And I got this colour as well, which is really nice. It's kind of this beige, and then it's got these lovely kind of twist going around the candle. So I feel like this would actually look cool if you put all the candles together and made a little bit of a side table or like on your coffee table or something. And then also for the coffee table, I got these little glass vases and they come in at different shapes and sizes. So I got this one. They kind of come as a set of three, but obviously you can buy them separately. And then it's ribbed. And I've just put these little dried flowers in it for now. I'm going to fill it with a little bit more when I go to the flower shop this week. And then this kind of, kind of like fatter one with the rounder edge and also the skinnier flute top here. And then this is more of like a vase style with a more thicker sort of top to it, that makes sense. Um, and it comes in like this kind of like tulip shape. And they've all got this little gold rim around the edges. So these actually would look really cute sat together. Say if you've got some shelves or something you want to style. Also thought these would look really great on the coffee table. So I've just quickly kind of filled this, played around with it, some dried flowers. I also got this little tray kind of similar to this i have these and then i also have sort of the big bowls of this to put like popcorn in salad bowls and stuff so it's all matching so i got a little mini one to just kind of put snacks and dips and stuff in which i thought was quite cute what else did i get the cushions that were on the sofa 
Really loved them, they were kind of like a beige frill, but the cushion inside of it basically didn't fit the cushion cover and it just didn't look right. They needed to look bigger on the sofa. So I picked up these linen cushion covers and they are gorgeous. I absolutely love them. They've got this frill going around the edge and it's kind of like this beigey cream color, which matches so perfect on our sofa. And these are the 50 by 50. So I got the inner cushions. They look like this in the box when they come. So they're packaged up. I got a few actually, because I have so many cushions around the house. So I got the inner cushions and then this is the cushion cover. Um, again, it's still online when I look, look, so I'll link it down below for you guys because it's so affordable. I think it was like £12 for a cushion cover. I just honestly think H&M, just nail it. So there's some few pieces I got. And then I also, in here, this gorgeous vase. And this actually does say stoneware on it, but it's a little bit of a different colour. It's kind of like this beigey grey colour to it. And they also have different styles of this as well, which I'm probably going to get some more because I love this. A little bit smaller, it's not sort of a tall vase, it's more of a shorter, stubbier vase. So maybe even like roses kind of cut in here would look really pretty. Or again, some dried flowers. I thought this would look really nice on our windowsill upstairs in the bedroom. Or even these kind of like shelves I've got here in the corner. I just feel like you can't go wrong with a vase. They always come in handy and I love this kind of colour and the feel to it. It's got kind of like a rim going around the edge if you can see. And again, this was so affordable. Um, they did do it in a few different sizes and shapes, like I said. So if they're still online, I'll link them down below for you guys to check them out. So I'll probably get my hands on some more. And next up, I also got this blanket for us, which I love. It's got this um, sort of like fringed bottom to it. And it's this kind of gorgeous beigey colour, which works so well in here. And I also thought this would be great for the office, kind of over my desk chair, or even upstairs, kind of thrown over the bed as well. I feel like blankets just always come in handy. And they look really good in a basket as well, just kind of like thrown over. I did get a basket, it's upstairs, so I'll show you that after, because I've already filled it with some cushions. So yeah, um, H&M Home also, I've seen some other amazing blankets on there as well. So if they are still online, I'll link them down below with different options. Because I seem to always, every time I'm online, always put one in my basket. They've got this blue clay one, which I really want as well. I also got this bath mat for the downstairs bathroom. It's actually bigger than I thought. It's actually quite a big size bath mat. It's just this kind of beige and white striped, which I like. A little bit fluffy just to go downstairs and again it doesn't say on here but I think it was like £12 so yeah it is a little bit bigger but it actually I've tried it out in the bathroom already and it fits great and then I got this runner rug for our corridor in this kind of colour it's like beige and white and this little pattern going through it so I thought this would just look really nice as like a little runner rug going along the corridor as you can see it's quite long I can't um, show it you all so I think that is everything apart from the basket upstairs. I feel like I got a lot more. Oh no, I did as well. I got a candle. I got two of these little candles, which are really nice. These always come on H&M. They're always in the stores and they always seem to sell out. So when I saw it was back online, I had to put two in my basket. I love them. They're just kind of this nice little vibe going on. It's like, kind of like animal print feel. And it's the sandalwood smell for coming closer. So I've actually got one on my desk now in my office. And then this is a spare, kind of a backup. You can never have too many candles in your house. I literally go candle crazy. So like I said, I picked up loads of these kind of pillar ones as well. So that's why there's just so much packaging in here. But I think that's everything I got from the H&M order. I hope you liked this little haul. I'm now gonna go and make some lunch. I'm feeling a bit peckish. I think we're just going to have some leftovers, like chicken and pasta or something. So I'll see what I can whip up. So maybe get my second coffee of the day. So I'm just making some lunch. I'm literally just finding some random stuff that we've got in the cupboard. Some whole wheat penne pasta we've got left over. We've got some chicken that we had from our roast dinner last night, so I'm going to put that in. Maybe some like cherry tomatoes, a little bit of oil and basil or something. Just a quick, easy lunch. But whilst I'm here in the kitchen, you guys need to get to know, if you don't already, the Soda Stream. It is so good. So Chris's sister, Sophia, brought it me for my birthday. 
and it's literally the best thing ever. So I will literally just fill this bottle up and then I'll show you how it works. Just clip the bottle into here and then press this button. You can either have an electric one or this is the not electric one. And then you just press it like this and you'll hear it go like, Psst, if that makes sense. And then literally you have sparkling water. And then I literally just put the um, top on this, put it in the fridge and then it's nice cold sparkling water. And obviously this is a lot more sustainable. I don't have to keep going out and buying loads of bottles of sparkling water because I drink so much of it. I love it, especially in the week when I'm not drinking wine. This is kind of like my little fizzy go to so definitely want to share it with you because it's currently on offer it was on amazon for 99 pounds and they've literally reduced it to 39 pounds so i'll link it down below because it's so worth getting and i think actually my coffee machine is reduced at the minute as well so i'll link both of them but i just had to share this because i am honestly obsessed with my soda stream i love it so I'm not sure where I last left the vlog off. I think it was when I was doing lunch, but since then I've literally just been sat on my desk, just had a very exciting Zoom call, and also just catching up on admin. So nothing exciting, but I thought I would show you the basket up here and some of the updates that is gonna happen up here as well in the bedroom. So ignore the bed, it's a little bit messy. Chris was in here earlier, but I'm gonna change this rug underneath. There was actually a really cute one before, and now I'm regretting changing it because I feel like that was better. I just am not liking this kind of grey vibe anymore, all these mirrored side tables, so they're gonna go. And the lamps and all these kind of like silver accents. And then over here is actually the basket I got from H&M Home to show you guys. This is the braided basket, I think it's called. Um, I think it was like $17.99. I've just got some of the old cushions that were on the bed in here for now, but I'm going to fill this with kind of like cream blankets and stuff and extra cushions that we have in the bedroom because here we have this little sofa, but again, that was a squeaky floorboard. We have this little sofa. It's this kind of like silver velvety feel it's cute and it fits this space really well because this is kind of like a little nook here in the bedroom because it's quite spacious up here we have a lot of space and obviously it's quite long so i'm thinking to get rid of this sofa and put a really cute sort of cream armchair here in the corner with a little side table and the basket and some blankets and cushions and just have that as a little reading nook and to kind of bring in the beiges and creams in here and then for the side table got my coffee here I want to change these to wooden and then have the lamps like a bigger thicker base kind of like restoration hardware vibes so just kind of do a little bit changes in here i've ordered some big cushions from dusk which i just got the email actually saying they're dispatched to put at the back here to really kind of level it out and make it look more even and kind of just a little bit more grand so they're the bigger cushions i think they're 75 by 75 so i'm really hoping they'll fit i've ordered three to go along here and they're kind of like a creamy um, linen feel to bring in that beige as well and for the bed throw we have this one at the minute which I do like it looks a really funny color now it's gone to the evening is this kind of beige one with the um, frill here at the bottom which I love gives it that kind of like added texture so I love this but then I'm thinking to layer it with another blanket over the top as well just to add a little bit more because we've been getting cold in the evenings and like I said I've ordered some more bedding so I've got a thicker duvet coming i don't know why this is so messy it's literally giving me anxiety so yeah just a few updates in the bedroom i did change up the pictures above so they're already kind of like in the theme of it being cream but we can't change the headboard because this actually came with the place so i'm changing everything around it which i think will bring in the feel that i want which kind of mirrors the living space as well so this is literally the favourite part of my day. I've just put my hair down. It was in my cute little pony and plait earlier, which I feel is like going to be my little new go-to hairstyle at the minute. But I just put it down because I didn't want to keep it up all day. Um, I always just kind of wear this clip at night and I'm going to take my makeup off. Honestly, I live for this. Taking most of my jewellery off, I'm just going to take these hoops out. So these my brother actually got for my birthday. I will list the brand down below. They're family run at Jewellers and they have some gorgeous pieces. So it's this kind of like twisted hoop if it focuses. I've been wearing them so much, I love them. So I took my rings off and now I'm going to take my makeup off and I think we're going to go and play this new PlayStation game that we've got with such losers. If you're a millennial, you'll know what I mean. Um, 
and hopefully you do because otherwise I'm gonna seem so weird. I never normally play games by the way, I'm not a gamer, but this game just reminds me of my childhood. It's the Simpsons Hit and Run and the Road Rage one. So we've actually gone and ordered a PlayStation 2 just so we can play this game. This is literally what lockdown has come to now. This is what's gonna be my entertainment. Um, so we're gonna play that tonight because all the stuff has finally arrived from Amazon. So. We've ordered a Nando's, that's on the way. We're not actually cooking tonight, we're gonna to cook the rest of the week. And I've also got some HelloFresh orders um, coming for next week to try them out. So I'll be doing a few little cook with me. But as I said, I'm gonna take my makeup off and sign off for the day. I've been on like a bit of an interior crazy hype this morning. I've just been changing a few things up because these are the old cushions that were on the sofa and I know they don't fit the cushion cover that well. So I'm gonna go order some other ones. But I feel like when I put the other linen ones on, they were just kind of looking a little bit washed out. So I'm thinking of maybe changing this to like a chocolate brownie kind of color and then have like a chocolate brown throw on here or even kind of over the side on there so that was my first initial thought I'm also going to be changing up these prints I'm working with Desenio again so kind of figuring out if to go again with the two or if to have maybe three or we used to have like a set of nine so I'm figuring that out this morning as well and I also have added a little basket here so this is obviously where the Christmas tree was and Bailey's bed used to be but I feel like his bed is obviously quite low down, so it wasn't working in that space. Bless him. You having a little nap? This is his Harrods bed, by the way, if you saw my Harrods vlog at Christmas. And it's already been broken apart. <laughs> and the bow has literally been chewed to pieces. He just loves it. He literally takes it around the house with him, and it's the cutest thing. But back to interiors. I got this basket um, gifted to me ages ago with one of my PR packages and obviously I've kept it because it's just so gorgeous and it's just so big and grand so I feel like this kind of fills out this little corner here and then I've added the little cushions that I said that I got from H&M Home just in here for now until I figure out what to do with them. I've got another blanket just kind of thrown over which we can use when we're just on the sofa and we want some extra comfies and then I'm also going to fill this with some other kind of blankets and stuff if we have like guests over obviously not at the minute just so we have extra kind of little cozy area here which I feel like fills out well and then I'm thinking in this corner please ignore the rubbish outside to do like a leaning ladder but I really don't want to take it away from this kind of big grand windows here so my initial thought was a mirror and then I was like absolutely no you can't have a window with a mirror so I'm thinking maybe like a wooden ladder lent up there with that basket could look really nice I'm gonna crack on with some chores this morning I've got some washing and stuff to do and then get on with my day having his picture taken we always do it before and after for him before he goes to the groomers he's about to go because he's just got so long and shaggy and he started to sort of get some knots under here which I'm trying to cut out so you're off to the groomers you're gonna go get a haircut good boy Leaving fluffy. look how cute he is I can't <laughs> cope stay fluffy forever mate you little teddy bear 
I feel like he knows something's going on, but he just doesn't know what. You're gonna go to groomers. You're gonna go to groomers. He tilted his head. <laughs> Bailey, do you want to go to the groomers? Do you want to get your ears blowed? Guess who's back from the groomers? You've had a little chop. His body's a lot shorter. I don't know why when he goes to the groomers, it always his fur goes um, a little bit more straight, but it'll kind of curl into it. And his face has been all trimmed. He looked very handsome. He's so confused. I'm just going to give him a little treat. And I'm going to make some cookies. Because I feel like a little mid-afternoon treat. I am literally winging this, by the way. I'm making some M&M cookies. We just both fancy a little treat. So I thought I'd do a little bit of baking. I feel like it's tradition in lockdown. The first lockdown, I made loads of lemon cakes. But... I thought I'll make some cookies. I just found this recipe online which looks good. And I'm literally going to wing it because our measurer has broke. So I'm just going to use this measuring jug and hope for the best. 